of the nonprofit leaders are, are camped out right now. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning, Hazel and Craig. Yeah, these nonprofit executives have been out here since 6 o'clock yesterday evening, and they are still standing at this hour. They'll be out here throughout the morning. Really, they say enough is enough. They want better pay. They say their compensation is just inadequate. And you can see they're supporting each other with what they do because they're saying it is time to get what they deserve through their contracts. The human service workers are calling on Mayor Adams and his administration to fund a 6.5% automatic annual cost of living adjustment and a multi-year deal of 16.5% to match the number of union deals. These executives represent organizations offering after-school programs, senior centers, legal services, and other essential services, and they are here for all of their workers. They're roughly two-thirds of workers live near poverty. This whole campout campaign says a living wage floor should be no less than $21 per hour, and the human services contract should include a comprehensive wage and benefit schedule comparable to the salaries made by the city and state employees in the same field. So Melissa Ossie is joining us right now live. She's the CEO of University Settlement. Uh, thanks for being here with us. Boy, it's been a long, uh, long time since you've been out here. How are you doing? We're doing okay. It's been a long night, but we lose sleep every night over this issue. Our staff deliver meals to seniors. They take care of children. They prevent addictions. They hold our neighborhoods together and make them safer. And if we can't pay them a living wage, this city is not doing right. You know, it's alarming, Melissa, because we know so many of your workers are struggling to get by day by day, and yet they are out on the streets helping out other people. It just doesn't make sense. They're amazingly committed New Yorkers. They're part of the fabric of New York, and they draw everyone together. It's simply disrespectful to not pay attention to this huge workforce in New York City. And we're here to say no more. We must have this pull up. And here you are outside of City Hall. You've been out here since 6 o'clock yesterday evening through the rain and the wind and certainly not the June-like temperatures. Um, what is your final message that you would like to give to leaders throughout the city? We're not going away. And the city needs us to be here. And so we will keep fighting. And the mayor has to respond to this call for a very, very basic cost of living adjustment for the human service staff that take care of the city. Wonderful. Thank you so much. We appreciate your time. And you. uh, certainly they have been out here again since 6 o'clock yesterday evening. And as Melissa said, they have no plans of backing down anytime soon. We uh, left a message to City Hall and to the mayor's office. We have not heard back yet. Of course, we'll keep you updated right here on PIX11 News. We are live in Lower Manhattan. I'm Rebecca Solomon, PIX11 News. All right, Rebecca, thank you. Well, I feel a uh, presence in the force. That's what it says. Do you? Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's just Ben. Ben Aaron. Is it just Ben? Yeah. Okay. He